Good morning, YouTube. How's everybody doing today? I hope you're all doing good. I wanted to get on here and share some thoughts that I had regarding who we are and how we feel about everything that's going on. Last night I spent quite a while reading comments on a lot of videos. And yes, I listened to the videos and I watched, but I really got intrigued with the comments, the things that people were saying. And I kind of noted a pattern on many of them that turned on my thinking, got me to thinking. So I've grabbed my coffee and I've decided to sit down and just chat. What I want to talk about is in many of the comments I see a lot of people uh, coming up with matter of fact and you know I respect that a lot of people self-included have knowledge that we've gained through the years, that we've gained through um, researching and reading and studying topics, and we want to share these. Sharing them is, is very, very valuable today. Today is a, a time when we need to share not just what we know, but we need to share of ourselves. And that's not easy. That's not easy to share of ourself. Self is a very private thing. It is not easy to show the inner workings of who we are or why we believe the way we believe. And a lot of arguments take place because he believes one way and she believes another or vice versa and it's really pathetic because when you look at both they both make very good points so it's kinda like it's kinda like apple and cinnamon and when you put them together and other people bring in what they know, you can put together a beautiful pie that pleases the palate of everybody. But we're forgetting to bring it together. And I think I, I understand why, and I could be wrong, but what I see missing is humility. Now, a lot of you are probably saying, what do you mean humility? I'm not going to be humiliated by anybody. Well, you're not humiliated by anybody. In fact, I don't believe that that's possible unless you let it happen. So what exactly does the word humility mean? I know that at one time I thought the word meant that I was to feel humility in the sense that I would be weak in some way or uh, being less than another person and I think I was led to believe that that if I were to feel humility then I was weak well today with all the things that were faced you know the fear building secret behaviors and practices that we can clearly see taking place and a good example is the chemtrails. We know they're there because all we have to do, like I've said before, is just look up. Many people have said it, just look up. So we can see it. We know it's there. You know, the radiation. The radiation we know is there, but we lack the truths coming from those that we deem able to be in charge of our world and our best interest. They're not giving us the information that we need. So it's hard to stay brave 
and strong all the time. Yet by nature, you know, in the natural upbringing that comes from our parents and their parents and their parents' parents, we've come to a point in time where we believe that we must, we must be brave and strong all the time. You know, the old big boys don't cry crap. Why don't big boys cry? It's natural to cry. It's healing to cry. And it's okay to cry. But we've been told, especially young men, big boys don't cry. Or when a child cries, we tell them, shut up and act your age. I remember hearing that a lot. You know, it's feelings. Crying is a reaction to an emotion that is very natural. And yet, many people just don't want to do it. I have a, a bad thing, you know, I, d I don't want to cry in public. I don't want to cry where other people can see me. And that's not always easy for me because when I, I mean, I carry my emotions very open. You okay, Annie? Yeah. Thank you. I carry my emotions uh, very open. So if I feel like crying, it's going to come. It's going to happen. You know, women are led to believe that they must be able to handle anything that comes up in their never-ending list of responsibilities. Women are just supposed to buckle up, you know, chin up and carry on and multitask and handle, handle it. You know, uh, something happens that frightens a woman and she's got her little children standing there. She has to put on the face of bravery and say, it's okay. Everything's fine. Mama's going to take care of you. You know, we're told to buckle up. Told to buckle up. To handle. We're told that if we buckle under the load, then we're weak people. Like there's no excuse for not being able to handle something. And this brings us to humility. A brilliant man by the name of Kevin Swindle once wrote, and I quote, First of all, let's define what is not. Humility is not shame, as the guilt merchants of the world would have you believe. Humility is not shame. Humility is the realization that you are just one of many in this great big world and that no matter how strong or intelligent or talented you may be, your abilities have a definite limit. To put it in another way, you are not Superman. End quote. I add you are not superwoman. It is never easy to just turn to another person and say, I can't handle this. I'm not strong enough. We're so sure that we will in some way or another be thought less of or thought weak or disposable if we cannot take on the whole world and its problems. I know I've thought this before several times in my life when I've heard words or statements like can't you get it right? or are you weak-minded? can't you figure this out alone? how about the one kids are fed for breakfast so often you better be ready to take on the whole world. Really? 
I have to take on the whole world, the kid panics. It just sets in immediately. That child has to take on the whole world. And when it's said to him in the singular sense, you better be ready to take on the whole world. The child takes it that if they can't, they're in some way weak or defective or they don't fit in. We know that that certainly is going to affect them, if not their self-esteem, certainly their ego. And a little bit of ego is very healthy. We're taught, or we're not taught, pardon me, ever in most cases, to just feel good about admitting that we need help, that we cannot do this alone. And you know, churches try to teach this through a back door kind of way. I mean, they say, you know, if you have a problem, just take it to the Lord. Let Him handle it for you. I say, given the situations of today, I believe that they were right when they wrote, God helps those who help themselves. And sometimes, friends, we need help to help ourselves. We should be able to say, I need help. Or I don't know how to do that. I have a problem or I'm scared. We should be able to say to any other human being, can you help me? Help by helping me to better understand. Help by giving me knowledge that I need. Help to lift a heavy load. Help to not be afraid. Hold me in the storm. Right now we're in a major storm. And I'm not talking about Isaac, although that's something to be alarmed about, worried about, concerned about. But the storm of unknowing. There's so much going on. And if we go through the news and we go through the alternative news here on YouTube and other social sites, we find that everything's just topsy-turvy. We've got one issue right after another. One problem right after another. And we're expected to handle this all by ourselves. I've got a little pest, a little fly bugging me here. So if you see me doing this, that's what it's about. We have to be able to say that, doggone it, I need help to understand. I need help to figure this out. I need help to carry this. Humility. Humility is nothing more than, than us being one, I think. You know, I keep saying that we, we know we are one. That we are one in the sense that we are all connected. Connected by way of an invisible energy that none of us can see, but it's a proven fact. It's there. I've had it proven to me many times, especially here lately. But, you know, by ignoring this connection that we are all by energy, and you can't see it, friends. You can't see this energy that's between all of us. But it's the same energy that works in our universe. It works in our world, and that energy is so depleted between us right now because we don't recognize it, we don't utilize it. You know, by ignoring this, the link between us is weakened. Now, those in control like that, they want the link weakened. They want us to buckle and say, you know, I can't go on, I can't handle this. The suicide rate 
even in our military, our, our boys and women in the military, and I don't mean to call you boys, but at my age, you're a boy. These young men and women in the military uh, committing suicide. Where's our, all their fellow service people? Why are they feeling alone? Why is there not the link up where they can say, man, I can't handle this. I need help. That's, that's where we're at. We've become this closed society where we close ourselves off from everybody else. You know, we're afraid of humility because it's supposed to be some ugly word and it's not. All humility is, is the ability to say, I'm not superwoman. I need help. My husband's not superman. He needs help. Our children, and I make it clear to them, never to be afraid to say, I can't handle this. Never be afraid to say, I really need help, or I'm scared. You know how, how sad it is that we've gotten to this point where even in these comments on these videos, we can't see that all of us are just trying to be helpful. Many people take that help as being a personal attack, and it's not. It's actually a learning tool. Even if you don't agree with the other person's opinion or what they believe they know. And there's a lot of BS out here. There's a lot of people claiming to know stuff that isn't even true. That's another subject falls under the lying lot of lies anyway we need to get that connection back we need to recognize even though we cannot see it that energy that links every one of us we need each other we need each other to get to the bottom of what's happening in our world. We'll go back to lies. People, lies are everywhere. Do you believe Romney? Do you believe Obama? Can we? We need help with those decisions too. There's just so much going on. But we really need to work together, my friends. And I don't mean to bore you with this, but watching comments, I saw it very clearly. Call out for help. Don't be afraid to get on a comment and say, man, I don't understand this. Or I just don't get it. Or I'm afraid some people feel a lot of fear other people like myself I'll get excited about something and perhaps a little emotional about it I'm gonna get rid of that fly keeps trying to land on my nose here <coughs> but uh, I'm not afraid I really don't have anything to fear I am concerned and I'm not afraid to say I'm concerned. I'm not afraid to say, share, give me information, I need it. We need to be able to show humility and know that it's not a bad thing. We have to work together, friends, because you and I, all of you and, and I, we're all we've got. I think if we could make that energy connect again to where we're all working together 
helping each other, we might find the answers to this crap that's going on. Anyway, I love you all. And uh, be safe. Take care. Practice some humility. We're all here for you. I love you. Big hugs. And lots of hope. Catch you later.